parts of British forces Cyprus have been receiving a facelift thanks to Royal Engineers from 131 Independent Commando Squadron. The Territorial Army Unit is on the island for Exercise Red Dagger and as part of their tasks they need to improve various training and recreational facilities on the island. Kath Brazier spent two days with them and discovered just how varied the work was. The Royal Engineers often find in training that what they put up gets taken down again. But for these guys, this is a live exercise, and the hope is that the infrastructure will remain for years to come. Things like the Cuplock Tower um, should, should be very, very long-lived. Long um, the HESCO itself, you've got a number of years. Like I said, if you don't coat the, uh, the outside of it, then the membrane will eventually fail because of the UV from the sunlight. Fob Spartan is almost constantly in use by visiting units, sometimes acting as their base for weeks on end. So it's crucial that every step from drainage to Sanger construction is taken to ensure safety and efficiency, as would be the case in theatre. I bring a, a wealth of experience from my civilian role as a civil engineer and also from many tours. It's just nice to have a, a, a second job to build on, really. Some more skills I've learnt with this job than I have in my civil street job. Ahead of schedule and still hard at it, so far it's all gone to plan. The work we're doing, although it's arduous, it's achievable in these conditions and we just have to manage the heat and the risk uh, accordingly. Fob Spartan then getting a full makeover from 131 Squadron up here at Episcopi. But away from this dry and dusty environment, another element of the unit are underwater down at the Mole in Akrotiri. 131 is a light roll squadron that forms part of three Commando Brigade Royal Marines and they're the only TA squadron in the British Army who have a dedicated diving unit. We've been doing some buoyancy tasks, uh, they're very small buoyancy tasks, but the principle's the same of divers working together uh, and low visibility uh, and trying to communicate underwater and, and moving objects as a common engineer task. The divers here are moving concrete blocks to create a lazy line that allows crafts to be moored close together facing in. 131 is based in northwest London, but their catchment area stretches far and wide, with remote troops at Plymouth, Birmingham and Bath. Both Ed and Chris joined up for opportunities like this. We've got opportunities to, to obviously go and do the course, but also do some uh, sports diving um, down in Plymouth, which helps, obviously. Um, so, yeah, it's, all, it's one of the kind of new things that I've been able to do with the squadron. I'm doing a, a master's in hydrography, so okay. looking for oil and gas or diamonds on the seafloor and sort of mapping the seafloor, that side of it. Um, so this is sort of just something else outside of the box to do, but um, coming from the artillery everything's new, so it's, it's nice to learn something completely different. Squadron personnel have deployed as augmentees to Afghanistan in every year since Op Herrick began, whilst continuing to provide worldwide combat engineer support to 3 Commando meaning their skills are constantly being put to the test in far tougher environments than this one. Kath Brazier, Forces News, Cyprus.